Hello, yes, that's right. The screenshot at the front of the video uh, was an advertisement that was on the back of a bus several months ago. I was probably on my way to Kensington and Fairfield, leafleting, and I pulled up behind this bus and noticed this advertisement in front of me. I took a picture of it, uh, and like it says, more people will read this ad than visit a social networking site this week. Bus advertising works well exactly, and these don't forget are experts in the field of advertising, so they should know. Now, the same can apply to us British nationalists in that you can have a car that's pulling a trailer with a certain message on it, or even better, go one better, have a truth truck like the BMP used to have. I don't know what's happened to that, not that it really matters now. That was an excellent way of uh, getting our message out. Right? So we can apply this to our cause, to elections and whatever. And I'll tell you something else that definitely works. I'll tell you why I know it works. How many of you get pizza leaflets through your letterbox nearly every other door advertising uh, the latest pizza shop that's opened and the latest deals they're offering? Well, exactly. Now, a lot of these, if not all of them, have also got Facebook pages right or, or even blogs websites yes they still have people who they pay delivering leaflets uh, around the local area advertising their business of course they do because leaflets work and i'll tell you it again why i know they work a friend of mine opened up a carpet shop right he's got a facebook page and various other um social media pages but he said the best advertising for his business that brings in the most work is leaflets. He has people delivering his leaflets all over Liverpool and that's what brings in most of his work. Yeah, he's still got a Facebook page, but the leaflets are what brings the work in, right? So all you lot sitting on social media, right? Sitting there all preaching to the converted, all talking to one another or watching stuff that you're already aware of, that you already know, and not following it up by standing in an election, um, offering a solution to the stuff you post on, say, social media, then it's pointless. It literally is pointless. Nick Griffin sitting there on his Facebook and God knows where else. Uh, you can post all you want. If, there's, if it's not being followed up by a candidate standing so people can then uh, understand what you're saying and vote on it, then it's pointless. Right? I am not saying elections are going to get us into number 10. No one knows how all this is going to unfold. Not even the, um, those, the, what are they called now? There's a word for them. The social engineers, they don't even know how all this is going to pan out. No one does, right? And that's why we have to still stand in elections to get mass support, credibility and respect and bring money in. Sitting on that Facebook is doing nothing, right? Again, my friend with the carpet business and the pizza businesses in and around where I live, they wouldn't be delivering leaflets if all I had to do was set up a Facebook page, would they? Well, exactly, right? And I'm going to get more and more into this, right? And the advertisement on the back of the bus, again, that's being put on there by experts in the field of advertising. And we've got to start getting our act together. Well, I'm going to lead the way. Nick Griffin's not going to do nothing because he sees his role now as some nationalist prophet. He joined the BMP for two reasons. One was to take it from John Tyndall, who he's hated all his political life. And secondly, to get into the European Parliament for pennies and pounds and his pension. And he just wants to sit there now doing nothing, spouting nonsense, because that's what you're spouting. But anyway, bus advertising works, right? Like the advertisement says, and we can capitalise on this. And I'm going to do it big time. OK, thank you. Oh... My uh, leaflet's getting done today. My final leaflet. The final push in Kensington and Fairfield. Okay, thank you. Our activity must be geared to the winning of power. That still has to be said to some people in our movement here in America, back in Britain and everywhere else. They are crusaders for the truth, but they don't relate it to the necessities of winning power.
It cannot be said enough. Power is what must be won. First, just a little bit of power. Then more power. And finally, complete power. Activity geared to anything else is a waste of time.